buddy. It's Ray. Hi, buddy. <laughs> um, I got a package delivered today from Paradise Fibers. And I found my unicorns. Did you take my unicorns? Hmm? Was it you? Oh. I found them though. <laughs> Don't know where they were off to. On a magical adventure somewhere. Okay. Oh, this is so nice not struggling. <laughs> so much easier. Just to open a package with some scissors. Who would have thought? Okay. So this... This is kind of a biggish order for me because my car had broke down, so we had to get a new vehicle because obviously, yeah, yeah, baby, with children, you gotta have a vehicle to be able to go places. Um, so now I have a car payment, and so my hubby was like, "We're gonna have to tighten stuff down," and I was like, "Okay, when's our first payment start?" He's like, "August." I'm like, "Cool." <laughs> so expendable income is leaving going towards needful things and so yeah so I had to put an order in you know before I don't have that extra money so this is kind of like a bigger order for me um let's see so this is paradise fiber solid color merino top in the color cinnamon and it's four ounces and it's a nice like well cinnamon color like an orangey color yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. okay go play and i got a paradise fiber solid color merino top uh it's in the color confer it's like a dark green so i'm gonna use that to blend with i got four ounces each um, they're really nice. Then I got a black Malabrigo, um, noob. And this is 113 grams. Five yards of it. Um, also for blending. I was trying to stack up on all my blending things because I want to stuff for people um this is paradise fibers d haired yak top and it's in the color bleached and it's four ounces of that okay i gotta try this i know how those other two feel but oh this is soft it is so soft like so soft oh that's gorgeous um I know the Malabrigo socks Mama, in it. Yes, baby. I'm just not seeing it. You're not seeing it? Oh, I'm seeing what, baby? Okay, and then I got... This is Paradise Fibers Galaxy Melange Cordell Mix Bag. It's got Andromeda, Cartwheel, Sombrero, Tadpole, Sunflower, Bode, Comet, Whirlpool, Cosmos, and Pinwheel colors. Those are pretty. And I forgot how many ounces it was. Um, you can definitely tell it's wool. Oh, you want to spend it? Does he smell like an animal? Oh, he's knocking my stuff over. His tail's wagging. Gideon, will you grab that for Mama? It's a really cool color. Um, but it's not, it doesn't feel harsh. Mama, I'm like not super seeing toothy. this. I'm not seeing this. Okay. You want to come sit up with me? No, you can go read? Okay. I've got fiber falling everywhere. Shh. I said I wasn't going to struggle, and here I am struggling. Okay, I can see something really cool in the box. Oh, I got some wool in it. 
Okay. This isn't the really cool thing. I'm gonna save that probably. Well, not for last, but. Oh, this is cool though. Look at that. This is Paradise Fibers Pieces of Paradise Blenders Delight. And it's one pound of all different colors and types. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah, I'm super excited about that. Because, like, when I'm blending stuff, I want, like, you know, it's like you're building up a palette for painting um, when you're blending. So, you know, a little bit of color here, a little bit of color there it changes it. But I don't have tons of colors. And so I was like, I'm going to get a blender's bag and see purple is really pretty so I don't even know what type of fibers these are there's just gonna be like tons of different ones like I can see I think this is bamboo right here that's a bamboo for sure and I don't know what kind that is <laughs> they all feel different oh this is soft okay whatever this is this is so Okay, this is really cool. Okay, yep, I'm excited. I'm gonna have to get my blending board back out. I have a list of names that I wanna blend for, so. Um, okay, super cool thing. Oh, they feel so weird. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you'll see the, um, Paradise Fibers subscription bag. I think it's already released. Um, they had silk cocoons degummed, so they had been like previously boiled. And I was like, I want to see what the cocoons look like before they're boiled. So that's what they look like. Isn't that crazy? So this is cut silk cocoons, it's two ounces. There's no way I would be able to spin from this. I'm pretty sure. Like, yeah, these are, they're hard. You see that? I don't know if you can hear it. Like, they're hard. Oh, it's so cool. So, I guess I'm going to have to watch a video now on how to degum them and make them lose their floof. Or their like stiffness. Oh, it's so weird. Ew. Okay, it's so gross too. I'm glad it's in a bag. I'm not gonna lie, it stinks. Like, it smells bad. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm sealing this bag. <laughs> I'm not like super girly girly, but um, this is going to be staying in this bag and then being put into another bag and another bag and tied up. I'm, I'm not super girly when it comes to bugs or spiders or anything, but I'm kind of like a germaphobe clean freak type thing. Like my, I have a mess, but like it's bagged, it's cleaned and, um, there's a silkworm in there still. Like a poor little dead silkworm. In here. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Okay. So. Yeah, this is going back in the box. I like to make stuff from scratch. I really do. I don't know about this much though. Like, I'm gonna have to see how to clean these. Yeah. Okay, it was cool when I saw it before I saw the bugs. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna go separate from everything else, cause, because, um, 
So the last thing that's in here, I got, it was one of their past subscription bags. Cause I was looking for something that's dino, dinosaur type thing. Um, because we're doing the dino tastic giveaway and I wanted to find something that was dinosaur so I could spin it and put it in part of the giveaway. And so they had this dino party. <laughs> um, is what it was called. This is a super cute bag. I'm gonna try and cut it so I can put the yarn back in it when I'm done spinning it. Wait, what's this? Is? So, let's see what's in here. I All it says is past things and you can scroll through and you can see the name but you can't really see what's in it. Um, so I have no idea what colors. I just saw dinosaurs and I was like, oh, that'd be cool for the dinosaur giveaway. Let's see. Oh, my unicorn scissors are dulling. <laughs> Okay, you like the dinosaur bag? Dinosaur! Let's see what's in it. Is it a present for me? No, it's not for you. Oh. Um, psh, psh, psh. Knock it off. He's got a birthday coming up, so he thinks every package that comes to the door is for him. Victor! Picture is just going crazy. So this is their little bag of extras that came with it. So you got a ginger fire chai. And it says contains caffeine. I love it. <laughs> I need caffeine this morning. Okay. Let's see. Oh, the sticker's cute. Has nothing to do with dinosaurs, really, but almost looks Games of Thrones-ish. It, it's totally uh, Games of Thrones. They have the name on the back of the sticker, and it says, Ewagon um, Targaryen. <laughs> tar -uian? You know, they have to make it sound like you. So, yes, that's totally Games of Thrones. I don't know what that has to do with dinosaur, but... Oh, look at the dinosaur stitch marker. That's so cute. I'll put that on the um the finished yarn. And I don't know what these tiny things are in here. Oh, they're like safety eyes. Okay. They gave you like I don't know if you can see it. Like a whole bunch of little just black safety eyes. That's cool. Okay, so let's see. Where's the paper? Paper! Dino Party! Um, let's see. In your bag, fiber is Riddle Green, a merino bamboo and tweed blend, and Legacy Purple. It's green and purple. Of course it is. Legacy Purple, a merino bamboo and tweed blend. So they're both merino bamboo and tweed and then in the notations stash t plastic safety eyes dino stitch maker and vinyl sticker um the fibers featured this month are available for the club thing but that was a while ago so let's see Folklore, inspired by cultural expressions, jokes, beliefs, legends, myths, music, dance, traditions, beliefs, and stories passed through generations by word of mouth. Merino soft strength, bamboo subtle sheen, and a smattering of tweed create our newest magical blends aptly named Folklore. The blends can easily be spun from the fold or directly from the top to create a strong and soft yarn. If you'd like to achieve a yarn like the ones pictured here... Uh, pictured here. Where was it? <laughs> Sp 
split each color into two equal portions and spin each portion onto its own bobbin. Apply light colors together. Set the twist and you're ready to express your creativity. We achieved approximately 135 yards of each colorway at about 13 wraps per inch, making them a DK or light worsted weight. These beautiful blends offer a squishy yarn with a ton of character, perfect for any knitting, crocheting, weaving, or felting project. What will you create with the floor, floor blends? I'm creating a giveaway yarn. <laughs> um, oh, these are cute. Little dino amigurumis. It says, desktop dinos. Create something small, adorable, and colorful to liven up your desk this month. Um, so that's what the safety eyes are for. These quick and easy crochet dino toys will bring joy to all. Use the included safety eyes to make your dino come to life. In order to make these amigurumi pets, you'll need a DK weight yarn. A size 3.5. Oh, uh, da 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 Let's see. Hmm. So the pattern. The pat. This pattern is Des Dinos by Irene Strange, and it says it's available at Rival Rivalry for free. So Dino Party. So let's see the fiber. Mm -mm. One of them comes with a little gift bag star instead of a organza bag. So that's the purple and it's got like pink tweed in it. Very soft. Trying to keep everything nice so I can repackage it back up in this as much as I can. Put that back in. And then the green tweed. It's like a green and gold. Yellow. More like gold color. That's really pretty. So that will go in the Dinotastic giveaway for sure. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna start spending it. You know, I'll drop the video and show you guys. Okay, so pretty awesome. I'm happy with everything. I'm kind of grossed out by the cocoons. I did not expect there to be dead silkworms in there. Um, kind of sad for him for some reason i just thought it's humanely you know the silkworms just leave their cocoons and the cocoons are left behind and then they collect them uh i don't know i'm hoping that's what they do and maybe these little guys just didn't make it um yeah it'll be i'll have to do a video or progression of how I'm going to clean it and I'm assuming you can't bleach it. I love bleach, but I'm assuming, you know, with most fibery and yarn stuff, you don't bleach stuff. So I don't know, but okay. That was it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, I'm kind of thrown by that, <laughs> but okay. I hope everybody has an awesome day week. Bye, everybody.